going to the jeweler, but the AP. Hey guys, it's Janai. Welcome back to my channel. So as you know from the title of this video, today I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips for after your big chop. So if you're interested, just keep watching. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that right now. So first and foremost, I would definitely suggest going to a professional or a barber to have your hair styled because a lot of people just take some scissors and just cut it all off. And depending on how short you're going, you could pull it off. But if you're planning to go like anything a little lower than a short curly afro i would definitely recommend going to get it styled because if you just cut it all off and it's like you just do it on your own it could be uneven it could be shaped weird it could just it could just be a lot wrong with it and that'll cause you to not like it when in reality if you just go get it styled you'll like it way more i would definitely go recommend getting it like going to a barber like especially if you're going like this low but like I said if you're going you know get in a little fro you may be able to pull it off by just cutting it yourself but at the end of the day I would still recommend going to a professional second you should come up with a hair care regimen and stick to it for example I um, shampoo and condition my hair like once a week and then I try to deep condition every other time I wash my hair some people like to co-wash in between washes and all of that stuff here at regimen doesn't have to be super complicated um, it just has to be something that you're able to come up with on your own or even not even on your own just something something that you can stick to um, and be consistent with number three building off number two you have to find products that work for you okay you can't just go on YouTube and find someone with a similar or the same hair texture as you and use all the same exact products that they're using because just because they have hair like you doesn't mean that those products will work the same for you so of course you can go on YouTube and look at what people similar to your hair texture suggest and try them out but just because it works for them doesn't mean it works for you you guys may have different porosity levels and it could just be anything so you're gonna have to experiment with a lot of different products to figure out what works for you if you're not already sure so yeah you have to find what works for you because what works for somebody else may not always work for you for you have to keep your hair moisturized. You should moisturize your hair every day, okay? I have really dry hair, so I moisturize my hair every day. If your hair is good at retaining moisture, then at least every other day, but it's very important to keep your hair moisturized, okay? <laughs> Number five, do not focus on your growth, okay? If you pay attention to your growth every day, if you're doing length changes like every day, every week, you're gonna feel like your hair isn't growing, so don't focus on that. Just, just if you just leave it alone, alone your hair will grow okay just don't pay attention to it well not don't pay attention to it because you obviously have to take care of it but don't like clock your growth okay what worked for me when I first big chop for the first time ever I wore wigs um, almost all the time of course I was maintaining my hair underneath my wigs and then um, in a couple of months like my hair seemed to have grown so much so well I mean it did grow so much but so yeah you could put your hair in some type of protective style you could wear wigs but um, just don't focus too much on your growth because you're gonna feel like it's not growing and you're gonna get discouraged and it's just downhill from there number six you should get some accessories I know a lot of women have a not a problem but a lot of women when they big chop their hair they don't feel um, as feminine without their hair so um, a lot of them aren't as confident anymore. So you should get some accessories, some jewelry. I actually have a video about different TWA accessories that I'll include in this video. Um, yeah, just get some accessories, some jewelry, you know, put on some makeup or whatever, just to make yourself feel a little bit more feminine because like I said, it is hard for a lot of women to still feel feminine with like, for example, a buzz cut like this, so. Yeah. And last but not least, you have to be prepared for the criticism or the dislikes or all of that and you can't let it discourage you, okay? Everybody is not gonna like your cut once you cut it, okay? Everyone isn't gonna like it, which is completely okay. Some people won't like it just because it's a dramatic transition and it's gonna have to grow on them, they're gonna have to get used to it. Some people just straight up don't like short hair on women. Some people, it's just a whole bunch of different reasons why a lot of people won't like your short hair. So I remember when I first cut my hair this low, my mom didn't like it, but I mean, it was okay. And then it grew on her and then I told her I wanted to grow it out. And she was like, no, like keep it short. And I'm like, you didn't even like it at first, but yeah, everybody isn't gonna like your hair, but you can't let it discourage you because especially if you like it, okay? If you like it, don't let anybody who doesn't like it make you feel like you no longer like it, okay? There are always gonna be people who aren't gonna like your cut. It's okay, 
a lot of people are gonna love it a lot of people are gonna love the big dramatic you know change or whatever just you definitely have to be prepared for that because everybody is gonna like it okay don't let that discourage you okay girl because you still gonna be popping okay so those are just my tips for after the big chop the key is to just always be confident with it that's 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 key okay just always be confident with your big chop that's number one as long as you're confident okay that that's really you could be taking care of it and all of that but if you're not confident like it doesn't even matter I hope that these tips were helpful for you guys if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any additional tips for anyone else who watches this video you can comment them below yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching I hope that this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video bye